So we're going to start right here with room temperature butter. And then we're going to add our brown sugar. And just give this quick little stir. Combine it. Right. Then we're going to add our molasses. And don't forget now, you've preheated your oven, right? Turned it on, 350, ready to go. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look good? Boy, I just love the rich flavor and texture of molasses. Now we're going to add our flour and our baking soda. The reason we add separately so it doesn't bind up, because if you add your flour right away with the butter, it just does not mix well for you. And ginger and a little bit of allspice. All right, so we're going to give this a quick little turn. Okay, We're not going to totally mix it. And then what we're going to do next is add the boiling water. So it's one cup boiling water, it's one half. And I like to use the measuring cup that I had the molasses measured out in just to get every last little bit of that flavor. All right. So now we're going to fold this in. And you're going to see that the batter is going to be runny. Don't be afraid. It is going to rise up. So you're just going to fold this. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. And if you are a ginger holic like me, sometimes I add a little bit more ginger. My husband calls me ginger sometimes. Get addicted. There. Doesn't that look great? Then you take your 8x8 or 9x9 greased and floured pan and we're just going to pour it right in here. Mmm. Doesn't that look yummy? And then we are good to go. So we're going to pop this in the oven and I'm going to start the cream and I'll be right back and we'll see how it looks. Ah. Uh. Can you smell that? Oh, I just love the smell of warm molasses and ginger when it comes out of the oven. So while this is cooling, we're going to make some fresh cream. I love a dollop of fresh cream. I like to use a chill bowl. Sometimes it makes the cream whip a little bit faster. I know it's hard to hear while I'm, so I'm going to stop for a second. So I'm going to add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of vanilla, just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. There. Mmm. Doesn't that look yummy? So we are going to cut a piece of this. Mmm. You know, growing up, I always used to fight about having the middle piece. I didn't want the ends. Don't ask me why. So, since I'm older, I can do what I want, I'm going to start with the middle piece. So, there we go. just want to cut it so you can see the yummy consistency in the middle. And I have a nice dollop of this fresh cream. How does that look? And we're not done. I love extra little bit of fresh nutmeg on the top for presentation and for taste. There we go. Oh, enjoy. Now it's time to eat.